All right, so let's have a look at the particle theory of matter. Um, basically, what is it? It is a theory. Now, a theory means it's a, a way of describing the, the universe, which makes predictions which have been tested over and over and over. Theory is the closest we have in science to a fact. It's our highest order of knowledge. So when we say theory, it's a way of explaining the universe that makes sense, fits all the evidence, and whenever it's tested, shown to be correct. Um, okay, so all particle, all matter is made up of tiny particles. We call them atoms, but particles will do. There are spaces between the particles, and that's important. Um, there are forces between the particles, that's also very, very important. Um, and particles are always moving, or at the very least, vibrating. Um, an increase in heat increases the speed of the particles and the space between them. Um, therefore, an increase in temperature will decrease density. So as you heat something up, it expands. That's what that means. And we can see that here. Um, we've got our solid. It's the coolest. Um, we've got our liquid. It's less cool. And we've got our gas. And it's the hottest of the lot. And we can see that it's taking up the most space. So let's have a quick look at these. Basically, there are several defining features for each state of matter. Solids have a fixed shape. Um, there are very small spaces between the particles. They have generally a crystalline structure. Ones that don't have a crystalline structure we call amorphous. So amorphous. Morph means shape. Um, and when we put A in front of it, that's a prefix that means not, does not have. Um, they're not compressible, which means we can't squish them down physically. And the particles, and this is cool about their movement, the particles are fixed in space and they vibrate back and forth against each other. So it looks a bit like this. They're just sort of here chilling out, stuck together. They just vibrate and move against each other. And you can see here it's got a, it's got a regular shape or a fixed shape and, and so forth. Now, liquids, are they're a different story. They take the shape of the container. See, this fills up the container and it will take the shape of the container. Um, water in a teapot takes the shape of a teapot. Ice in a teapot stays the same shape as the ice was. It's miscible, um, which means there are small spaces between, and it's able to mix. That's what miscible means. It could as well be mixable, but that would be not quite the same word. It has no regular structure, and is not easily compressible. Well, you still can't compress a liquid very easily. Um, it flows, and the particles slide. This is how it moves. It flows and the particles slide against each other or over top of one another. And then we look at our next one, the gas. Now the gas fills the container, so it takes the shape of the container, but it actually fills it up. Whereas, for example, a if a liquid was in a ball, it would only go up to there, but it would take the shape of the container. A gas will fill the entire container, taking the shape of the container. Um, it diffuses, which means it spreads away, and it is miscible. So it's able to be mixed. Very large spaces between the particles. Um, gases are easily compressible, and that's because there's very large spaces between it. You push them together, and um, the spaces between it get smaller. Particles move with a very high velocity. Um, they essentially, at room temperature, they're moving at gas particles are moving roughly the speed of sound. That's why it's the speed of sound. Um, now let's have a look at phase changes. Okay, so a phase change is a change between one phase to another. Gas is a phase. You might know it as a state, but state phases, it's the same thing. Um, so here, let's have a look. When you go from a solid to a liquid, you melt. Liquid to solid, you freeze. Liquid to gas, you vaporize. You condense out from a gas to a liquid. We're not worrying about this at the moment. Um, solid straight to a gas is called sublimation. Whereas a gas going straight to a solid is called a deposition. Um, yeah, and that's pretty cool. All right, now if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.